question? You, you can have it in a second. The thing that I love about Twitter, this is me personally, I, I describe Twitter to people that aren't down with it, that it's a huge party that's going on, and you can be in the kitchen get a, getting a drink, talking to nobody. Like my, my hoot speed or tweet deck, whichever one I use any given day, is on all the time. And maybe I'm over drawing and writing the emails. Uh, there are applications that are used for using Twitter. So oh, not just nice. the web online. It's yeah. Hootsuite and uh, TweetDeck are popular applications that you use on your computer to monitor your Twitter feed. Basically, the, the banality and just the whole stream of what's going on yeah. is just chatter at the party. Some of it perks you perk up at and go get involved in it. The rest of it you just ignore or it just floats by. I guess like, in terms of actually what we're putting out, if I'm a, I'm a business person and I'm looking to engage my customers and engage discussion about you know social issues that may be of importance to us, so sort of just create uh, create a some, conversation, some, create a conversation and engage people. You know, what am I what am I tweeting? Well, like, you have to do, go ahead. You have to do like zippy one liners and attention grabbing. Um, sentences like when I update my blog instead of like just whatever stupid lyric uh, post title I have I make a point to like try and say something that will like pique the curiosity of someone to want to click that link because they don't know where that link's going to it's a tiny URL like going right. whatever to my blog post so it, it is actually work it's just like it's a, a Facebook status update in Twitter and it's just like here, please pay attention to what I want you to pay attention to. And so basically, it's a skill, a new skill. Everyone has to learn it is microblogging, and and you just got to, I don't know, it, it is totally banal. Yeah. Like, try and weed out, like, all the, I've got coffee, I went, I walked down the street, I'm picking my nose. Yeah. yeah, like, we just launched our new line of dresses. That's a great tweet for you to put, to post, and then you can put a link to a photo, or a blog post, or, or something on your website. Or upload a trip pic, a yeah. new something, like for your store specifically, like say what you're doing. Like, oh, look at this, we're screen printing this in the shop today. Because okay. like, I know your girls. business, so like, so we're screen printing this, or here was an article published about us, tweet that, and then Insider always, information as well. And like, that's what I, like everything. the thing that I notice like most, like working with like much MTV is like, when we do like a twit pick of let's say Paul the intern like getting ready for MTV Live that night doing some shit ass stupid thing, which they always do. When they do a twit pick of that and then uh, MTV Live and I retweet it, that gets like thousands and thousands of views. More than Dan and Jesse with Sarah Jessica Parker. Because people want to see what's happening behind the scenes. So for your business or for any business, like if you're like, we're working on this brief and we're working so hard overtime. You have a picture of someone being like, ah, yeah. you know, doing something. Because what it does is it personifies that business and takes you right. away from just being a big brand and a logo. Yeah, yeah. And it creates that personal connection. And that's what's about building that relationship is creating that personal connection. Right. Rob.